right, so this is consolidation part three. Uh, again, started out with five nano tanks. This is the 29 gallon. As you can see, for lighting, I've got some a uh, little mishmash there. All proven to be quite nice. Even the washout showing up on this. <laughs> Rocks over in this corner consist of pagoda stone. Yes, it does affect the uh, TDS and pH of your water, so the best thing to do, stick it in a bucket full of water, stick it outside for a year, bring it back inside your tank, it'll be covered in nice biofilm, and the pH adjusting properties and uh, cage adjusting properties of the stone will have been diluted enough that it's cured and ready for your tank. I found that out the hard way and stuck it straight in without curing the rock and it gave me a lot of problems. Uh, okay, for plants behind it. So we have Rotala, um, Rotala Indica over here to the left. Glossostigma foreground. Not carpeting, but it is starting to send runners. Uh, back left corner is going to be Wisteria. Proceeded to the right, uh, that is going to be Ludwigia Repens. Continue to the right along the back wall. That's Crypto Parva. Small crypt. Any of the window tie. Green and red are too big for this tank. Uh, little nook and cranny. Uh, right there on the dead center of the screen is going to be Styrogene Rebens or S Repens. Um, going uh, next to the uh, Mapani wood. Up and down that is Java Fern. Uh, glued on with, or no, just free floating, sorry. That just kind of randomly threw in there. We also have some uh, Anubias Nana Petite, some Anubias Nana, we'll strap to Lava Rock. Parameters are going to be a TDS of about 192, pH of about 7.8, um, and mishmash of fish. We'll get into that more later.